Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Arman Guniai. Uh, first of all, uh, happy International Building Designers Day to all of you. Um, I've been a uh, two years a student member with BDAA. And this year I joined as a full member with Prague. And uh, today I want to present you my uh, project, which is I designed for my college for, uh, for graduate diploma of building design. The project name is uh, called Violin House. The commercial complex, which is located in North Ride, New South Wales. Uh, let's start about uh, to know about this project. Bringing a new standard of community center to North Rada Station precinct site is an adoption of a commercial building that aims to bring international music to life. The project spans over 26 levels of offices with an auditorium, art gallery, restaurants, and cafes. <clears throat> it contributes to the community engagement, introduces luxurious facilities and high-class entertainment to North Rada Station at and Macquarie Percy. The design of the project relied on a shape of violin due to the objective to introduce international music in more depth to Australia. And as a dedication to my father as a violinist, every space introduced to this project is an element of a deconstructed violin reshaped to achieve the best functionality of the space. In line with the concept, the project meets the right council DCP, LAPs, and BCA requirements and has achieved the solutions to meet the requirements dictated by authorities. The project requirements was auditorium space with 450 people capacity, art gallery, community center with 100 to 20 people capacity, food and beverage spaces, and also office spaces. A station precinct features covered or enclosed area, minimum of 30% landscaping area with water efficiency and shaded communal spaces, public art, car and bicycle parking, accessible design, sustainable design with 5.5 star rate of neighbors. Material selection as per North Ride Station Precinct DCP 2013. Technology of gadgets as per North Ride Station Precinct DCP 2013. Signage as per Macquarie Park Controls D Ride DCP 2010. The location of the site, as you see in this slide, is behind the North Ride Station. The violin house, the M2 highway located behind the violin house. And we have 15 minutes drive from Sydney CBD to the project. The site zone is B4 mixed use. Site area is 14,900 square meter, FSR 3.5 by one. And height of this building is 92 meter. My inspiration for designing this project was triggered when I discovered that my father is on well. My father was a musician and music has been a part of our lives from childhood. As this commercial, as this commercial project requires an auditorium, an art gallery as well, I decided to use musical instruments as an inspiration. Initially, I thought about three instruments to help me develop a concept, violin, trumpet, and piano, which is I choose the violin, as you see, I named this concept. The, I used, I named some of the uh, structure of violin, which is I used that in my project, a scroll off, by, off top of the violin, a strings of the violin, and shape of the violin, and also chin rest of the violin, and a folds of the violin, and a structure, some structures from inside of the violin. The side layer zoning, as you've seen in the slide, we have a lobby and entrance in the ground floor. And the first floor, a museum of art, focused to, uh, to introduce uh, in international instruments all around the world. An art gallery 
focused to show the all musician and art about the musical instruments all around the world. And the community center located in the third level, which is we have access from the community center to rooftop garden on top of the auditorium space. And you will see the shape of the violin, which is achieved to the side here. And the, the uh, main building is located in the, here in middle of the site. And we have access from rooftop of rooftop garden on top of the auditorium uh, uh, space, which is we use the post tensioning slats. We have access from top of the auditorium to rooftop the restaurant part, and we can walk through around the restaurant part to the site and also to the restaurant part. In the three D visualizations, I will explain more about the project. In this render, you will see the sunset render view from Northside Station to the site. And you will see the lighting design in the sunset rendering. And this is the daylight render, the same view. This is in front of the site. You will see the concept, one of the concepts here I use as a main entrance of the building. This element is called silence of violin which is you practice, when you practice a violin, you put this concept on uh, this element on top of the strings to get the sound when you're practicing. I take this concept from that element and I use the different uh, structures in around the site. And as you see in the sitbacks of the building, every several le seven levels, we have an opening a space and rooftop garden, every seven levels for uh, people who are working in the offices, to get the rest can come out for the dining, uh, uh, for the coffee, for the uh, dinner, for the lunch time. And also from several levels, the other side of the building, we have every two levels, we have another uh, balconies. And you will see that, that the other side of the building and you see the shape of violin, how achieved in this shape of the building. And the F holes of the violin I use as a shading on top of the restaurant part and S screw on top of the violin, I use that as a water future on top of the auditorium space. And as you've seen around the uh, restaurant part, we can, you can walk through to down stairs and going to the side and also access to the restaurant part. In the few slides, I will show you more clear and near the uh, areas which is I'll talk about. This is the uh, daylight render for the same view. This is the side of the building. I use the uh, lighting design in the precast panels, which is uh, cast this uh, sun, uh, sunny day, cast a shadow for offices for sunny days. And also we have a separation between the uh, street and the side with the lighting, beautiful lighting design on the wall. And uh, this is the daylight render, which is the precast, which is I'm uh, talking about the cast the shadow for offices. This is backside of the building, which is the 3D view of the violin. We have a lighting design behind it and auditorium of the city, auditorium, violin house name. And this wall, behind this wall structure, we have a services. And I use the barrier, sounds barrier, for cast the sound from M2 highway to the auditorium space. Uh, this is the chin rest of the violin from top view, to chin rest of the violin location from top view. I use that as a, a sound barrier for uh, auditorium space. And this is the daylight render for this view. And this is a photo montage from actual site from Nostra station view to the our site wall. This is the sunset rendering behind the build, behind the north side, this is the daylight right there from behind the north side. This is some uh, elements, which is I uh, mentioned that in the previous renders, this is a scroll on top of the violin. I use that as a water feature on rooftop open space of the restaurant part sitting area. And this is in the site, which is the name of violin house and water future here in the animation which is I prepared, I will show you more about these details in future slides. Uh, I also have designed all interior spaces for this project, which is I show you some of them in this presentation. This is the uh, main entrance uh, view of lobby and we have a reception desk, 
Wildland House, and we have we have we're going walking through to the uh, coffee shop part and access to the uh, art gallery and museum of art, the first and second level. This is the uh, that view was from that side, and this view from the coffee shop side, and access to the art museum of art and art gallery, the top floors, and you will see the all arc shapes and circular shapes, and which is following the shape of the building all around these interior designs as well. This is a concept for sitting area around the columns interiors. You will see that concept. Uh, also, we met the all uh, arcs and shapes inside as interior design as well. And this is a design for interiors of restaurant part and the ceiling panels with the timber panels with lighting design interior of a restaurant. And you can see the see through the windows uh, precast panels, which is uh, the, sorry, the uh, slabs, which is we can walk through around the restaurant to the side and also main entrance to the restaurant part. And this is another render from interior design of the restaurant. And this is one of the design for offices space. And this render for interior design of community center. And finally, interior design of the uh, auditorium space. You will see the design of seating area. You will see the uh, design, the acoustic panels with the lighting design, acoustic panels to the walls and all around this. This one, this view from a mezzanine level to the auditorium space. This is view from mezzanine level to the uh, stage. I prepare an animation, as I mentioned before, for presenting the concept plan, concept of uh, walking through around the building. Let's see what uh, we have around the building. We have three minutes animation. If you see that low quality, you can see that in Art Deco Line YouTube channel, you can see the good quality of this uh, animation. And this is the logo, which is our design, especially for this project.
and at the end, uh, uh, I want to uh, tell you a biography about uh, my dad, uh, which is I dedicate this project to him. Uh, Badiou Lagunia was born on December 12, 1939 in Iran, a country that is the cradle of, uh, cradle of history, culture, and art. He played violin for 50 years of his life, embarrassing the traditional Iranian music. Due to his love and passion to music, all his children have learned traditional Iranian music alongside their job and professional life. My father was in the field of architecture for 50 years with a notable number of certificates and appreciations for his contributions. His very magi uh, magical and pleasant play of violin has always been shooting to our hearts. My father is my greatest role model in uh, inspiration and inspiration in my life and he was always my biggest supporter. I owe that I have achieved, I owe what I have achieved in my life today to his kindness and greatness. Therefore, I dedicate, dedicate this project to my father with all my heart. My father passed away on 3rd of May, 2021. It is hoped that this project will be constructed in Australia to become a destination where diverse the cultures and art meet. It is my great goal, dream that one day this project becomes a location where music, the on-field language of all nations is spoken as a famous Australian song, I am Australian, say we are one, but we are many. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, uh, again, happy International Building Designers Day to all of you. I hope you enjoy with my presentation. If you have any question about my presentation, please feel free to ask me. Thank you, please. Thank you, Armin. Yes, it's, a, it's a, an amazing story and it's very, very sad to hear about the passing of your father. I remember that you told the Sydney um, group at the Sydney Design Awards the story and, and I know many of them said that they, um, well, I saw, I saw them you know, with the, with the tissues, so it's, it's amazing. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a lot of comments saying how wonderful it is that many can't believe that you're a student designer and so forth, and it's amazing. Yeah, um, it was. <laughs> and so they're asking, was this um, design piece for your graduate diploma? Uh, it was my latest uh, design for my graduate diploma of building design course as yep. a mixed use commercial. And uh, uh, it was really hard, actually, uh, Chris, because I have done the uh, Diploma of Building Design, which is two years qualification in one year, fast track, and also Graduate Diploma of Building Design, I have done that in one year as well, in fast track course. And I should prepare two big projects. One is mixed use commercial and one big, huge residential project for end of uh, 2020. I have done both of them together and it was really tough time last year. But a successful outcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm just seeing through, I've just got to scroll through to see if I've got some more. Um, There's a lot of people saying congratulations, impressive design, looking forward to seeing it built, uh, wishing that your dreams do come true. Thank yeah. you for sharing. Uh, it's there's a lot of congratulations. Not I guess there's not that many questions because I think people are quite stunned with what you've presented here today, Armin. So yeah, it's please, I, I leave I leave my contact details in the chat. Anyone, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Okay, um, we've got another question. What was your background be uh, prior to studying building design? Uh, actually, my background was in Iran. Uh, I was uh, building an interior designer uh, for five years in Iran, and I was work uh, for three years in Turkey as well. I have eight years overseas uh, uh, working experience. And then when I came to Australia, I started uh, to uh, learn more about Australian standards uh, to, yeah, make my dreams. <laughs> and, you, and you stumbled upon the BDAA? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how's your experience been as a student now transitioning with the BDAA? Um, what I wanted to say, all the students, this is where one of the uh, biggest opportunity for all the students of building this and all building designers uh, to learn about the Australian standard, about the building, about the all detailing of the construction. And it was great for me. And uh, with proud, I joined as a member and uh, hopefully I can do my best with this community. And I'm really happy uh, to be a member in BDA. And, and Armin, what, what, College did you go to? Was it Granville or uh, Granville TAFE? Yeah, Granville TAFE, New South Wales. I really, especially thanks to my teachers, uh, Fadi Fadil, um, uh, Farhad Kaimnaz, all of my teachers there in Granville TAFE. I really appreciated them and say hello to them uh, because I learned a lot about uh, from them and also all the members of PDA. I learned a lot about them and all the presentations. Fantastic, Armin. Thank you once again. Also, I learned, I, and also the, the, the uh, more important, I learned English in two years, the past two years. I never, ever speak English before. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and, that, and what you're saying, that's thanks to the BDAA and the community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in the community and I'm really happy to. Fantastic. So we, we'd you. love to see your progression. We'll be watching, I guess, with, with really carefully with how you progress throughout your career. So thank you once again. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Again, there's more and more comments um, coming through. All again, great work, Armin. Here, here. So it's what it's wonderful the feedback that we've received from your thank presentation. You very much. Thank so, you to all of you. Thank you very much, Armin.